guys in my sorely tutorial today i am going to explain you how to configure your eclipse id for running your web application so in my previous video i have already explained you what is sorely how to install tomcat how to install java double e if you want to run any web project step by step tutorial i am going to provide so do watch my video till end so let's start guys hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can configure your eclipse id for creating web project so guys for creating web project first of all you have to install your server so i have installed tomcat server and after that i have installed java double e in my eclipse id so i've created two separate video for it i have given link in description box you can watch that and now guys let me show you how you can configure your uh, eclipse id for adding your tomcat server and how you will be creating web project in it so guys let's start so first of all i am starting my eclipse id so here in search box i am simply typing eclipse so here my eclipse id is started and now it is asking me what guys workspace so i am taking uh, default workspace whatever has been given and i am just clicking on this launch button so now guys after this uh, I have already installed Java double E. So here I'm changing my perspective. Um, by default, the perspective is Java. I'm changing it to Java double E. Okay, so if I change it, I will be able to create web project, right? So uh, change perspective to Java double E. And now here, uh, let's add the server to this Eclipse ID. So for that, you need to just go to this window menu and go to this uh, show view. And here you can see there is option servers. So select this option guys and now you can see here it's showing me no servers are available okay since i have not done setup so just click on this link and now here select the server type you can search or you can just scroll down below and here you can see tomcat version just select it guys and here it's showing me server name if you want to change you can change otherwise you can just click on this next button and now i need to browse the installation location of my tomcat server so just click on this browse button guys and wherever you have installed tomcat server just install it by default it goes to c colon program files and then here you can see um, apache software foundation uh, so just select this and inside this you can see tomcat 10.1 select this and click on continue button guys this is very important if you don't allow the permission you won't be able to access tomcat 10 so click on this continue button and now here uh, my uh, tomcat is visible i'll click on this select uh, folder button and now the location is been selected and guys under jre you can select your jdk which is there so guys here i'm going to click on this finish button so guys you can see here it's showing me tomcat server at localhost previously it was showing no server and it's showing me stopped so i need to start the server so for starting you can click on this play button or you can right click and select option start server uh, so guys it is showing error because here in tomcat admin port there is hyphen available so just double click you will get this page and change the port so I have changed it to 8081 and I'm changing HTTP port also. I'm making it 8082. Okay, so you can give other ports also, no problem. So now guys, you need to save this. So just click on this cross. It will ask you to save, save. And now guys, let's start again. So guys, you can see your server has been started. Here it's showing me server startup, right? And here also it has shown me started and synchronize so server is started now now let's create a new project so for creating new project you have to just go to file menu and here new project and now select dynamic web project okay so for web project we have option dynamic web project okay so since i have already selected this java double e hence i'm getting this uh, dynamic web project option so select dynamic web project and now guys you need to provide certain details so here provide your project name so i'm just uh, providing name first web or you can provide whatever name you want so here is my uh, project name and guys in uh, project location whatever location you have selected at the beginning that is uh, workbench it will select that if you want to 
chain just uncheck this and take this and target runtime now here target runtime whatever uh, we have set up we have done of server that has been selected and dynamic web module version 6.0 and just click on next button and click on next button guys it's showing me context root context directory I click on finish button guys okay so now guys you can see here my first web application has been added at left side you can see here we are getting various folders okay so inside uh, java resources we have src main where we can add what solid file and here under src we have web app here we can add jsp file so let's quickly add jsp file to test whether it's working or not so here i have just selected new jsp file and give name to your jsp file so i'm just giving name to my jsp file as input.jsp and uh, now guys here i'm going to write a very simple line so first of all i'm changing my title so this is just a demo you can write any code in jsp so welcome is my title and and in h1 i'm simply typing a message thanks for watching guys okay so this is done now we will be running this project so for that uh, first of all what you do you save your application or if you run then also it gets saved automatically so control s or save all okay and after that right click on your jsp file select run as run on server so it will be run on server and this is my server select it and click on next button guys now you can see uh, the configured okay click on finish and it is asking me restart the server yes restart the server and now guys here you can see i'm getting message thanks for watching my default browser is what uh, microsoft edge so i'm getting my output on microsoft edge here you can see localhost colon 8082 and then we have what my project name and after that my file name so guys i conclude my video i hope by following my video you are able to configure tomcat in eclipse id so guys in my next video i will be showing you how to create servlet project using this eclipse id and tomcat server so guys if you really like my video do hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you're getting any error you can send me your screenshot on my instagram but before that you have to follow me on instagram and guys do share my video to your friends and guys i'm there on different social media all my social media link i have given in description box you can join or follow me there guys i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes related to computer science and it on my telegram channel you can uh, join my telegram channel and guys if you're new to my channel do subscribe to my channel for such more videos and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you once again guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys